Good morning guys, this is Mike from Mixpix Visual back again and uh, we are doing a short tutorial on a very specific problem that maybe not everybody has but if they encounter it sooner or later or maybe they got it and they just randomly tried to search it on YouTube uh, this is where it is. Uh, I have had the problem where my animator has a delay between uh, after, after you trigger an animation it takes a while before it plays I was like, what? Yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to show you what the what the issue looks like. So what it is, is that like, um, if I come in here and I've got this, uh, th this animator set up for how the camera is supposed to move around in this room. And uh, I, this, this button, it's all in Swedish, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this button will make uh, the camera pan around and I uh, and it will trigger the animator via script so if I hit this it's supposed to turn around but I wait and then it turns around and then I hit this one again and I wait and then it turns around and I'm I wanted to do it like right away but it doesn't and I'm like why does it not do this uh, and I checked the animation itself to see if there was uh, empty keyframes on either the start or the end side of it. There wasn't. Um, so I think I just by accident found that um, in the um, in the animator, these are the two states that it's supposed. It's not really states. I think maybe this is because I'm using this the way it's not supposed to be used or something. I use the animations themselves as states, like uh, when you're when you're panning from left to right, uh, you're 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 ending up in this place until something else happens, and then when something else happens, like I hit a trigger, I want it to go directly to this state instead. But the thing is, like uh, what I what I found was that this little fellow here, uh, that one makes uh, the trigger wait for this animation to be over or something. Uh, so it does a little waiting thing, which is not supposed to be. It's supposed to interrupt the current animation or state or whatever, and then go directly. So if I just uncheck this one, and I will do the same for the pan to the other side, uh, and then we will try that shit out, and you'll see what I mean. Now, if I try to go to the other side, it moves right away. So basically, that little uh, has exit time uh, trigger is what you need to check, uncheck, ha, huh, if if uh, there's a delay from your trigger to your animation. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks. Bye.